Exercise. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. She's just learning to investigate seeing my leg there. But what do I need to do before I get on this horse? Do it from both sides. Right. All right, she's quite comfortable there, so I'll just slide off her back. Yeah. All right, get on the other side. Last the lower head. Good job. Yeah. <laughs> Make sure you rub around the bum because that's where you're going to put your leg when you swing over. Alright, we want her to bend that way to have a look on that side there because at the moment she's not looking. She's got to look. Don't get on until she really wants to look. It's easy moving your leg around. Otherwise, you're not going to hurt her. Good job. Good job. Okay, that's the bend again. And good job. Line off so she sees you. Okay, this time we'll get on, shall we? Right here, down. So you ask yours to lower the head so when you negotiate an object like in trial class, a bridge or water, you can actually ask your horse to eventually down and lower the head from there, see? So that's where you're going to be able to put your hips. Okay, down. Good. Okay. Good. Good. Yay! <laughs> so what step did we go back to? Although well, no, she probably would have walked off, but I want to teach her that no, you don't walk until I give you signal. Yeah. That's fine. Let it be on guard. Let it do. So the beauty about not starting off with the saddle is that you can slip off pretty easy. I'm just say to her that I want you just to stand here. I haven't given you a signal. So you can sort of wiggle around and tap on the bum. And just show her. Like to be able to sit on you. Is she comfy? <laughs> Good. Up in the clouds with all the fresh air. <laughs> <laughs> At the altitude. <laughs> Getting on a horse is not a big deal. It's spending the time with the mouthing, or if you want to go a bit in the spinal. Um, to have a confidence that when you finally get on and you ride out there that she's not going to panic and shy and stuff like that. But as you do the steps, I'll start getting more and more comfortable with you. So Carly just said to me yesterday, could you sit on my horse? I said, yes, of course I can. Carly. horse to go anywhere yet we want to just say the horse that when we first sit on you that is not the signal to move because so many horses you get on and straight away want to move and then people pull back on the reins and the horse gets quite confused so all we're going to say to the horses that we'd like to be able to get you to stand still what we actually forgot to do if you're using one rein is to be able to swing the lead up over so i'm not going to worry about it now Right, but I do that on the ground so I can swing that lead back as a foot, so I can just sit on her back and I can swing it from side to side. <laughs> we'll just see if I can get it just to flex around to, to this side here. Flex. Excuse me, John. If she were to walk off now, would you hop back off? If she just walked very quietly, I might just bend her head around and say, here, we'll just come back here again and we'll smell my boot, okay? That's and why I like was, this flex. If she was to walk off, John, what would you do? That's what she said. Oh, sorry, just I couldn't hear it. Sorry. So yeah. I, if she walked up calmly, I would just see if I can just flex around to my leg and say, no, 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 I'm giving you a signal. Yeah. But she's already learnt this stuff through the holder. Yeah. So I'm actually better off doing the holder. So people often put, put other gear on, whether it's bridles, whatever. you still got to teach the horse how to respond. Mm. So I, I like to ride them a bit in this. I've always rode my young horses in this type of a setup so I can 
I can still correct them through the, through the whole thing because they already know. They've had from babies, they've had this pull and release and they know what it means, right? Mm -hmm. So even if she walked off, I could probably just go, see, there she walked off, so I could just go that. I say, oh yeah, I know that, right? But the idea is you don't get on them until you feel that you can bounce up and down and they can, they can look at you and go, yeah, big deal. Because if they're all nervous and they're jumping around, but that's what you do. See, a lot of people, I've seen them get on a young horse and they get somebody to hold it. Worst thing you can do, because that horse is not even looking at you. And when you start walking, they go, hell, where'd you come from? And they don't even do it on the offside. Because like I said, a horse has got two sides of the bone and if you don't do the other side, they all of a sudden turn their head this way and go, where'd you come from, yeah? And then that's when they freak out. I remember when I was working on breaking in horses and a lot of problem horses on the saddle, I used to get so many people being up and say, oh, I've got a problem with my horse, he's very stiff on the right rein. And I was getting all these horses were stiff on the right rein and it finally dawned on me that most breakers don't get on from the offside, so the horse has never seen them. They bent the head around, they climbed on, and half the time the horse is moving around the yard because he's nervous. And then, and then what you find is that, well done. then what you find is that, as they go to walk forward, the horse only sitting on their side, and when they go to turn them this way, they go, shit, where'd you come from? And they rush around the yard, some might bowl a bit, some might buck, and they pull them up and back them up and say, hey. And then they think this problem's solved. What the horse does is says, if I don't look at it anymore, then later on you get this horse and you want to do a nice circle off to the right and the horse won't bend. So you get the cry packed in and the vet and half a lot of muck around you realise that no, it's actually the horse that's learned to blank out the person sitting on their back. I had one horse there. I had one horse there that was, um, oh yeah, um, that was 15 year old, so switched up on this right side. Obviously had a hell of a fight, learned to blank it out. And I said to the lady, I said, what, what does, what, what does he like to eat? She said, he loves cats. So I started on the ground, I'd hand him a cat, on the near side on the ground he'd take it, I hand it on the off side he'd take it, i sit on his back, he'd take it out my near side, and when I went like that he went, you go to look a bit new and I can't look. But he was 15 years old. So I had to keep coaxing around and slowly keep giving the cat, and eventually he realised that he could look at me. But what them horses do is, when they don't actually bend to the, to the, to the, they keep their neck straight and you can't make a proper circle. So this is where this, this is, this is where this flexing comes in. So if I want to get off and now, I'll say to go, okay, well flex, I'll show you that I'm here, I'll move my hand around, I'm not trying to, because I've done all that bouncing down, and then I just dismount. Lunch is ready, John. Yeah, I'll just Lunch is up. Ladies and gents. Okay. <laughs>